Okay, welcome back to part, I think, part eight of uh, Danganronpa. So, when we last left off, we were investigating Sayaka's murder. And, uh, you know, I did some more did some more pondering last night, went all fucking Miles Edgeworth once again. And I have narrowed the list of suspects down to two. Because, okay, two key pieces of evidence here. Okay, let's look through our truth bullets. Okay, the, the the two the two most vital the two most vital truth bullets, I think, to our investigation right now are the doorknob, which was apparently unscrewed with a screwdriver, implying that the killer had access to a toolkit, which only the boys have. And the shirt sleeve that we found in the incinerator which further narrows down the list to students with long-sleeved white shirts, of which there are only three, uh, I believe. Taka, Hiro, and Leon. And among those three, the buttons on Taka's shirt sleeve are gold, whereas this shirt sleeve has black buttons or gray buttons. And, you know, so it could have only been Hero or Leon. You know, could have been either one of them, but, you know, they both have points against them. I mean, it was Leon whose crystal ball was found in the incinerator. But, I, I, mean, I mean, it was Hero whose crystal ball was found in the incinerator, but it was Leon whose name was possibly written in the, uh, the shower. So, with all that explanation out of the way... Let's continue our investigation. I think, uh, where was I gonna go next? Uh, wish I looked at the footage before I, wish I looked at the footage from the last episode before I, before I, uh, continued with this one. Um, let's talk to Hero again. Maybe he, uh, he can say without, this without a doubt, this belongs to Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot in the laundry room last night. Ah, right, we were gonna go to the laundry room. Okay. Do, 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 the laundry room, do, do. That's the AV room. Dorms. I believe the laundry room is in there. Uh, yeah, this looks like, yes, the laundry room. Doot, 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 doot. Oh, I see dirty magazines. There's some magazines lying around. No help there. Okay. There's a swimsuit hanging out to dry. That must be Hina's. But it has nothing to do with what's going on. Nice. Okay. Hope I'm not gonna have to check each individual washing machine. There's a washing machine. A washing machine that has nothing to do with this case. That vending machine's still there. Still doesn't have any way of helping solve this case, either. The hell did Hero send me here for, then? Fork. Five minutes later. Okay, so I figured out what I'm supposed to do next. After some, uh, um, <clears throat> thorough investigation. <clears throat> no outside help whatsoever. Found out you're supposed to go into the kitchen, which I didn't know you could do. Uh, so let's get cracking. Meat. Marbled meats. Salted meats. Now's no time to be thinking about food. There's a bunch of vegetables all piled up. I don't see anything noteworthy about any of it. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but looks like one of them is missing. Yeah, it's in Sayaka's stomach. Which 
Kind of makes it sound like she ate the knife, but whatever. Was it missing from the very beginning? Or no, you fucking dumbass, I just said it. I better see if anyone here knows more about it. Oh my god. Makoto, buddy. It's good that the game <laughs> allows the player to figure shit out on their own, unlike Ace Attorney a lot of the time, but... <laughs> Makoto, you are a bona fide pants-on-head dumbass. I wonder if the dialogue will be the same if I, uh, if I go back to the crime scene. It's like, can Makoto figure this out on his own, or does is, or is he have to... Uh, Or does he have to figure it out from someone else? Let's see. Some sort of sharp object has been thrust into her stomach. Whatever. That must have been the killing blow, but whatever they used to kill her, why'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. No, oh, oh wait. I had already read that dialogue. Son of a bitch. Okay, blood on her index finger. That was obviously uh, what she used to write the message, but... Okay. <laughs> so I do need to, uh... to talk to people. To figure out, oh, where... Oh, where, where, where'd the knife go? Couldn't have been the one that's, you know, that was used to fucking stab oh, Sayaka. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, so... Mondo has nothing new to say, and I doubt Sakura does either. Let's, uh... Maybe Hina has something to say about the missing knife. <laughs> A sharp object. What's the sharp object, Makoto? Care to tell me? Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife just suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? Nope. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So when did you notice that one of them has disappeared? Well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. You went out at night, you say? But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. And then you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come into the dining hall last night. Which proves I didn't take it. Hey, by the way. Did you really kill Sayaka? <laughs> what? Of course not. I would never... Hina, did you really think I murdered her? Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean... You guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. But on the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So, when you consider everything together... I honestly have no idea. Oh, is it time for the trial? Okay, every time he says Gak Saibon, I think he's saying Gyakuten Saibon, which is the Japanese name for the Ace Attorney series. <laughs> so I'm just like... <laughs> I was like, what? What? I'm not playing Ace Attorney, what the hell? <laughs> Oh, I, let me let me reread that. Okay, let me to let me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. Okay, here we go, man. This kind of reminds me of a boss door. So, I think I am. Uh, I think I am legally allowed to say this. It's boss time. All 
Oh, damn. Much like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, everyone is here. You're late, Makoto. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> I bet you were afraid you'd be discovered as the murderer you are. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. There we can all reveal the details of Makoto's crime. So they really are convinced I did it, but... I didn't do it. Me and Saika both know that all too well. But then, who is the killer? I'm telling you, dude, it was Leon. The one who murdered Saika. Is it really one of us? These is probably yeah. Talking to one of these people is probably gonna probably just gonna cut right to the uh, the the trial. But let's do it anyway. Let's go right to the left anyway. <laughs> well then, the time has finally come. Are you ready? So the school basement has become the darkened stage. We're all here to bear witness to Mr. Nagy's final curtain call. What do you guys say, murderer? Well, I did my job. Yeah, I'm sure you did. I'm counting on the rest of you from here on out. Being so insistent, even though you obviously killed her. Very impressive. <laughs> well, did you find anything that might actually prove your innocence? Oh, whoops. Guess I have no choice but to get on this elevator. Let us begin. Good idea. Are you scared? No, scared isn't quite right. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mysteries surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Sayaka's death. I don't need someone else to tell me to do that. In Sayaka's honor, I swear I'll find out who the real killer is. As I raise my voice to try and give myself courage, I turn, trembling with anticipation, toward the elevator. With each step forward, I could feel my heart s starting to race faster and faster. Everyone else was already on the elevator. When I finally stepped on, the doors closed, and the elevator started to move. Uh-oh. The elevator have started to move. The steel box descended with heavy clunking sounds toward the school's basement. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when his time finally comes. Rather than that, is it not more like the def a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? Oblivious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. <laughs> you finally arrived! What do you think? Doesn't it feel just like a real courtroom? It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? Not even close. It's total shit. Okay, okay. Everyone find your assigned seats and sit down. Hurry up now. Hurry up! We did what he said and found our seats. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. It was set up so that everyone could see everyone else. And the player could see right down Hina's shirt, which also meant it'd be easy for anyone to transfer their tension unease onto anyone else. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. And so, the curtain on our first case opened. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. Deadly Rumor, which was the title of the last episode. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. Oh shit. It's about to get real.
No. Ugh. What is that noise? What's that noise? No, no, what's that noise? Increases damage to the opponent when a statement is destroyed. Effective during bullet time battle. I mean, okay. It's the only skill I have, so... Okay. Um, yeah, let's just uh, get right to it, then. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Makoto Naegi. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. What the... Oh. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the Blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. And the killer really is one of us, right? Of course. Okay then, everyone close your eyes, and whoever did it, raise your hand. Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? What's going on with those pictures? I'd feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. Friendship penetrates? Ugh. Okay, but what about that other empty seat? There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Okay, that about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. First up is the case summary. Now, let the class, let the class trial begin. It's about to begin. The debate to decide who we think the killer is. Anything I found, anything I noticed, I would be ready to speak up about everything. Because this isn't just about me. Everyone's lives are on the line. Your first non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Yeah, I'm totally in the dark about how the trials in this game work. I mean, I'm assuming they're more they're they're faster paced than the Ace Attorney trials because there's you get shit like skills and you know there there were there were difficulty settings for the action sequences and I'm like what action sequences? I thought this was a visual novel. As things progress during each class trial, you will engage in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions buried deep within their statements. What this means is that you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Ah, so that's why this game's called Shooty Refuty. Any relevant truth bullets you've found during your investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the mouse to aim and fire with the left mouse button. Pay close attention to each character's statements and use your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. If you press the escape key during these arguments, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. Yeah, have fun debating a murder trial. <laughs> Okay. Evidence of a struggle. Huh? Something's off about what was just said. Because if Saga hadn't resisted at all, there's no explanation for what happened to my room. For this first debate, we'd like to take a quick sidebar. If you're unable to spot and refute someone's lies or contradiction, the argument will repeat. Within a group of statements, some words appear a different color. Did you happen to notice? 
that represents a potential hole in a person's statement, a possible weak spot. These weak spots reveal important, though not always inaccurate, sections of a person's statement. Your truth bullets are only effective against these weak spots. So when you see one come up, take aim and fire, but only if you're sure it's actually wrong. No, that's wrong! Also, you can fast forward an argument by holding down the control key. Well then, good luck and have fun. No, that's wrong! In just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room looked. With the way things had been damaged, I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. A struggle? Between who? And who? Between... Between Saka and the killer, of course. Sorry, I'll, I, I almost went in. I was sweating the Blaze's voice there for a sec. Okay, there was a comment on a previous episode that said like, Oh man, it'd be great if you uh, busted out a no, that's wrong in Blaze's voice. So, uh, there you go, person who commented. You heard it here. <laughs> so you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? She must have been attacked in the main room first, then she ran into the bathroom to try to hide. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. Shouldn't even need explaining. Sorry. Okay, so what's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Wow, this is starting to sound like a real trial. We need to determine what was used to kill Sayaka. Catch a knife. Yep, yep, good so far. Some random knife. No. I do think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Huh? A kitchen knife? After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives in the kitchen was missing. Which means that the knife must be the murder weapon. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. You can sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. If you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? That's right. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. What more proof do you need? Well, hold on a sec, I'm... Let's draw our conclusions after we've presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Well, we can talk all we want. It's not gonna change that conclusion. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. You really believe that? She's right. There's gotta be a breakthrough somewhere just waiting for us to find it. Cause I know damn well I'm not the killer. There's a bit more to learn about mo oh, there's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to hear more? You can concentrate by holding down the space key. While you're concentrating, time will slow down so you can pay closer attention to what everyone's saying. On top of that, it'll steady your aim, making it easier to target potential weak spots. Concentrating like this consumes the focus gauge, and if this gauge empties, you can't concentrate. But the focus gauge will recover over time, so let your brain take a rest. No need to rush. Well then, good luck and have fun. Okay. Which is the next truth bullet to use? Aoi's account. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. 
I just remembered that was wrong. No, that's wrong! Okay, wait, hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next year, you're gonna say you're not the k killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you, you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? I wanted to get some tea from the kitchen last night. All the knives were still there, yada, yada, yada. One of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you're drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah! Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you ran the dining hall, correct? Yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, he definitely wasn't there. The knife disappeared while Hina was in the dining hall, but I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? Idiot swimmer girl? Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask and I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So, in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has the chance. But one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? But what if they did work together and they just didn't know about the rule? Ugh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! Oop, did I say that out loud? Anyway, I didn't go into the dining hall and I didn't take the knife. So I'm not the killer. Okay, so then, who did take the knife? Hina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. That's right, Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Uh, I'd hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. Right. But then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no, because, um, well... Just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Which means we have airtight alibis. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms, but it doesn't say we have to sleep in our assigned room. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? It's... it's... unwholesome! But I'm a girl. You are? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> But if it wasn't either of you, then what, are the, then what other possibility is there? Actually, there is one other possibility, right, Hina? Oh yeah, that's true. One other person did come into the dining hall while we were there. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, because they're not here anymore. Oh shit, are you saying Junko killed, killed Sayaka? Someone was not here? Are you talking about... Oh. Sayaka. She's the one who came into the dining hall, and then later, she wound up dead. Sayaka? Okay, so the person who took the knife from the kitchen was... Yep. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm starting to think it might have been uh, herself that did the deed. Then Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. 
Thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water, but most likely. Then the person who took the knife was the victim herself. I'm sure. I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. What? See? He did do it after all. No, you're wrong. So that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction. Hmm. You possess a most terrifying talent. Damn. Better do something, you're gonna blame me for the murder. You're saying it like they haven't already blamed you for it. Don't they understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die. Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto's the killer, wouldn't you say? Because, you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Your first hangman's gambit is about to begin.